Can I ask you to bear with me for just a moment while I read to you this particular YouTube comment and then say some things about it? I knew you would. Here's what it says. Jim, this is exactly what I needed to hear today. I'm waiting for a heart transplant and sometimes I feel that I just want something to happen while I wait. Days are starting to run into each other. This video motivated me to start preparing for the call and transplant. Thanks for all your time and energy you put into helping us all. You are appreciated. Let me tell you something. I'll tell you what I appreciate most. It's people who say things like that. That is so encouraging to me. That motivates me so much. That makes me want to work harder and harder every day to produce this content, to do it accurately and in the right time to help the most people. As a matter of fact, you might be surprised to know it, but that comment right there is really not that rare. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn and say, that what I'm saying is a lot of people constantly they're sending me emails sending me messages you know commenting beneath videos over on my Facebook pages and stuff and they're consistently saying things like Jim how in the world did you know what I needed right now how did you know what I needed today well, the truth is I don't. The truth is the way that I come up with the content that I put together, that I call this video series, The Transplant Helper, these 160 plus videos I've produced so far, the majority of them have come because you share your stories. I love it, love it, love it when someone sends me a message and says, here's what's going on with me today. Here's what's going on in my life. Here's the journey I'm on. Here's what I'm facing, that sort of thing. Or here's where I've been. All those stories are great. At the same time, but like manner, I love those people who specifically ask questions because I know just like a child in a classroom, say in a second grade, there may be one kid back there raising his hand. I, I got a question. I got a question. But there are probably 30 other people or in this case, hundreds of other people out there that want to have the same questions asked answered they just don't know how to ask or maybe they're afraid to so i appreciate all of you send me questions on a regular basis but let me tell you the truth about how i honestly uh, completely come up with all my content it really doesn't have a whole lot to do with you now you're a huge part of the transplant helper you're a huge part of the transplant helper community but most of the content i produce doesn't have a whole lot to do with you at least in the beginning you see, I'm about a month or so out from making it to my fifth year post-transplant anniversary. May the 23rd, 2018 will be my fifth year post-transplant anniversary. I'm looking forward to that. But what I'm remembering as I sit down in this chair and in front of this camera, behind this microphone every single day, what I'm trying to remember is not what's going on now as much as I'm trying to remember the things I wanted to be going on back then. You see, back six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As a matter of fact, I waited on transplant, you may as well say, for 38 years. And I can still remember all the things I wanted to know, all the questions I had, all the concerns I had, all the worries I had, all the stress that I had even thinking about and even considering transplant. Here's the truth about it. You know this. Some of you do. There's no way to find the answers. Oh, yeah. You can go into your clinic. You can sit down with your coordinators. You can sit down with your doctors. You can ask questions. You can get on YouTube sometimes and you can find videos that are very technical and are very, you know, uh, focused on one certain subject. And they tell you how procedures are done, you know, how these operations go. But does that really tell you how to live life? Does that really answer the question like I hope I'm answering questions for you as someone who has been there and is currently doing that? I can remember, and I joke about this sometimes, back years ago, prior to my transplant, I just had an ICD, a defibrillator installed in my chest. And I can remember right after that, one of the doctors came in the room. There were several doctors, I should say. One of the doctors came in the room, and I remember asking him, I said, Doc, is this thing going to hurt if it shocks me? Is it going to hurt? He said, oh, no, you won't even notice it. It's no big deal. It won't. You won't even even know it happened if it does we'll get a record of it and you know we'll help you out with it but you won't even know that doctor stepped out of the room and another doctor stepped in and he said mr merrill you should know something he doesn't have a defibrillator he really has no idea what he's talking about when that thing kicks you it's gonna kick your butt that's what he said it's plainly he said it's gonna hurt believe me it's gonna hurt and i think it was probably at that moment i thought you know what if you're not someone who's been there and am currently doing that, you really don't have any idea. So I think even way back then, as many years ago as that was, I started thinking about this video series. So let me just ask you this. 
do you feel like the content I'm putting together is helping you? Do you feel like the content I'm producing every week is kind of hitting where you are? At least I hope that you do. If I'm not, then then please continue to suggest some things I can do to make that possible because that's really what the Transplant Helper community is all about. It's about dealing with issues and helping each other as we go through this journey together and doing it from a perspective that I think we can most of us, at least if not all of us, understand. You know, I get it. We all walk this journey in different shoes. But the truth is we're all walking in some kind of shoes, maybe a different style. Maybe we're walking in a different pace. Maybe we're going in slightly different directions. But at the end of the day, we're all walking together in the transplant journey. So let me say to you, I can't read your minds. I don't know exactly what you need, but I know what I need and what I needed back then. And that's what I'm trying to produce. So really, I guess in general, this video is more about saying thank you. Thank you to every one of you who share with me your stories, who ask questions constantly, and who certainly support the program. I really, really appreciate it, and hopefully I can continue to provide you with content, as I like to say, that will both advocate, educate, and yes, more importantly, even motivate you as a transplant patient. Because we're doing this together. We're in it to win it. We're going to fight for one another. Thank you so much for this comment, but you are not rare in what you do. You're just one of the ones that choose to be an encouragement to me today because every one of you are an encouragement in some way to someone. So please take time to watch all the content that I produce. Maybe some of it doesn't necessarily hit right where you need it in the moment, but maybe there'll be someone you'll meet on your journey in transplant who will need the information that we share together. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it helps you out like many of the other videos I produce, I hope they all do. Please give me a thumbs up on those videos. That motivates me and, and helps me a lot. And please consider subscribing to this channel. You know, there'll be content coming out several days a week and some of it will help you. Some of it will help somebody. That's what really matters to me. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching this program as well as all the others. And until next time, please, Let's do this together. Stay stronger, friends.